Okay, uh, let's look at this question. Huh? Alright, um, so under uniform acceleration, motion of an object with velocity v is represented by v square equal to a plus bx, where a and b are constants and x is a variable for displacement. If both a and b have dimensions, find the dimensions of a, uh, bx and b. Okay, good. So let's do these questions, yeah? So, um, so what do we have here? So, uh, okay, let us write down the, inform the, the formula. We have v squared equal to a plus bx, okay? Now, uh, we know that uh, this formula is homogeneous. Uh, this formula is homogeneous. Uh, what it means is they have the same dimension. Uh, this uh, they have the same dimension so this dimension of v square is equal to dimension of a and also this dimension a is equal to dimension of bx all right so hold on a second uh. Uh, all right let us do it so uh, now we want to find the dimension of a so how to find the dimension of a okay so we know that the dimension of a is actually the dimension of v square isn't it Ah, so uh, what is the velocity? What is the velocity dimension? Ah, okay, uh, we can first look at what's the unit. The unit for unit for V is actually meter per second. Velocity, isn't it? Ah, the, the velocity is meter per second. Uh, so the dimension of uh, velocity is actually uh, LT negative 1. Ah, LT negative 1. Okay, so uh, what about the V square? Uh, v square, we will have uh, L square uh, T negative 2. Uh, you know, this uh, dimension, we just translate, then translate from the unit. If unit is meter, then dimension is L. Uh, L is the dimension of length, meter. Uh, second is a dimension for time. Time, uh, dimension, uh, unit is second. So, dimension is T, uh, time. Okay? Uh, so, that's why we have uh, this. Uh, so, dimension of A is dimension of V square. So, it's L square T negative 2. Uh, okay? Uh, that we, get, we got our answer, you see? Very easily done. We got our answer. So, now, uh, how about the BX? Let's look at the BX. Uh, let's look at our BX bx uh, dimension of um, bx is equal to dimension of v square also you understand because why because uh, bx dimension oh sorry ah because dimension of bx is actually dimension of v square ah okay so let us do it let us do it so uh ah. What is our dimension of v square? Dimension of v square is of course l square t negative two. Yeah? So uh, it is equal to l two t negative two. That's that's right. Okay. Finally, about our c question c. So how about the dimension of b only? Oh, dimension of b. Uh, first of all, we need to know what is x. Uh, we need to know x. X is a uh okay x is uh, uh variable for displacement you see uh, maybe i highlight better huh? uh x is displacement so we only have bx isn't it we only have bx so uh what do we do what do we do okay um okay no we also start from bx uh, because we already know the dimension of bx is l square t negative 2 uh, so now we only want the b dimension of b so we know that x is displacement uh, what is the displacement di dimension uh, dimension of dimension of displacement is of course l uh, because the unit is meter isn't it uh, the unit of displacement is meter so the dimension is length length meter l uh, okay so uh, so now we can do it. Uh, so we, actually we can uh, separate it, you know, we can separate this. Uh, dimension of Bx is dimen uh, like this. Uh, 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 uh. Like this, isn't it? Uh, okay, so we have this. Okay, so what is our dimension of x? Dimension of 
x let me see your yeah, dimension of x dimension of x is l uh, l so uh, this is the, this one uh, i see that uh, just multiply there uh, uh, okay so do you get it do you get it uh, so uh, later on we just cut uh, cut it uh, cut it uh, so what is our dimension of b dimension of b is lt negative 2 okay done okay is it correct the answer uh yeah dimension of b is lt negative 2 the rest also correct okay so okay have fun